Hello everyone, I am Vikramaditya from Jade Soft Tech. In this session, we are going to create a program, a simple program uh, in the HANA studio. And we are going to also check out how to, how to check the programs that we already created in our uh, ECC server. So first and foremost is I'd uh, go ahead with the uh, login and first let me login into the HANA studio. And in the HANA studio, we need to create a particular uh, project. And when we are creating a project, we need to click her here, file, new, and ABAP project. Basically, uh, let me tell you that even before going into this ABAP perspective, I'll, I'll close the ABAP perspective and show you how to log in into the ABAP perspective. The moment you log in into the system, sometimes it will ask you for the server access. And uh, if it's already been logged in, then we need to go to the Windows perspective. And in this, we need to go for other, other perspective. And in this other, we need to go for ABAP perspective and just say OK. And in this ABAP perspective, we need to create a project. So it will ask you for the access here. So I'm going to give you a high chain, H -A -N at the rate one, two, three, four. Uh, OK, so this is something which uh, we need to whatever password uh, we have, we just need to use it. And here, like uh, the thing is here, we have uh, a project which is already existing. Let, let us create a new project here. I'll go for file new and uh, ABAP project. So in the ABAP project, it will ask you for which server do you do you want to actually link link that server to. So this is the server which has already been linked to the HANA server. The connectivity has been established. So let's go ahead with that particular, uh, you know, uh, server and then say next. And in this, uh, we are giving the VAS. You don't have to change the system ID and uh, the server. Everything else should be the same. Uh, because these are the default values and just say next and the client name is uh, something like 800 I believe best and then we need to give the password for this or I'll change this user next so the values which I gave there are the credentials that we have for that particular ECC server so we just need to add a particular project name and I'm going to create the project name as jadesoftech underscore 002 and then click add. Okay, so they click on finish. And once we finish, uh, we are going to have a new uh, project here. In the project, within the project, we can create a program and we can make use of already existing packages. So here we have the favorite packages. In this we have the $TMP as a package. Right click on this. So we have something called add package. Okay, I guess this product package is not there. So to create a package, we will be just going into this uh, ECC server. Let me log in into the ECC SLT server. This in this way also we can lo log in into the server in a very normal way. So HA. So we'll go into SC80 and we'll create a package here. ZJH soft tech is already there. I'll create it as ZJH soft tech one, and then click on this, you know, check button, and then data or package. Then we have to go ahead with this, and then ZJH soft tech package is there. Now we'll log in into the, we'll we'll get into the HANA server now, and in the HANA server, I'll just refresh. So the moment we refresh this, those packages should appear here. Okay, so we'll just simply add, right click, add package, then this, jet soft tick.
so the package that we created in the in the uh, ECC server login uh, are uh, we are able to see those packages here so I'll make use of one package let's say jetsoptic1 is the package that we just now created just select that and once we have selected it the package will appear here and we can create programs under this so in this we have to go ahead with the program creation so now we'll right click on this new program and in this we'll go for zjs of tech one so in this uh, we'll just create a program so we'll create a program as zjhs underscore test one test program and just say next So now once we have done it, we have to select the transport request. You can create select the uh, existing transport request or you can also create a new transport request. New transport request. New soft tick. Say finish. once it's been done we'll have this programs and in the programs we have zjhs underscore text one so this is the program that we have here and if you double click on this this is the program you can see the editor here and we can just write a very simple program here i'll make use of uh, say tables and uh, write a k n one you know a k n one table so let's take a couple of uh, you know a uh, couple of uh, fields from the k n one table so i'll write begin of st underscore k n one end of st underscore k n one And, uh, and we're just uh, taking uh, simply three fields here data it underscore can one type standard table of st underscore k n one double underscore k n one type st underscore k n one and uh, we'll also write the select options here select options s underscore k n n for k n n i think k n n select k n n name one over t zero one from k n n one and to table it in so k n one where k u n n r in s underscore k n n r you just write we are writing a very simple program here and we'll write a loop obviously loop at it underscore k n one into table underscore k n one Hello. 
So we'll just check syntax check. So the first syntax check, there'll be an icon here. You can also use Control F2 as we already normally use in our programs. Control F2 and then we have to go for Control F3. So once it's been done, we just need to click on execute or you can also use F8 and we will get the selection screen here. So let's let's give some okay let's give some values like thousand and uh, here we have say five thousand. So we need to get the details of all the values which are there between thousand to five thousand values. Okay, so here once it's been done, we'll be getting the output of this. So we, we get the output here. So this is the output that we are able to see at the HANA level in which uh, this is a program that we have just now written and executed. The entire thing which we have done is done in the HANA server. Okay, so let me show you the same program now in ECC server. It's going to exist in ECC now. So let's see this particular uh, package. Okay, let's come out and uh, refresh it so that we'll be able to see that particular program here in uh, programs test one and if we just double click on this program so you can see the same program that we have done in the HANA studio so in this uh, this video this is what I wanted to explain you so in the next video I'm going to uh, explain you another project which we have done in the HANA app